Today on the Copper Coast, a major export is grain, and a lot of it is actually exported via ship from the shipping port here at Wallaroo. But you see, grain wasn't the only major export of the Copper Coast. In fact, there was something else which gave Copper Coast its name. So, I thought I'd go learn a bit more about the history of the Copper Coast and what makes the Copper Coast, the Copper Coast. Now the region known as the Copper Coast was home to the local Narunga people for thousands of years. In fact, the name Munta is derived from the Aboriginal word Munta. But in the 1860s, copper was discovered, which started a gigantic mining rush, attracting thousands of people to the area. At the time, it made Munta the largest settlement of people outside of Adelaide in South Australia. Now just outside of the town of Moonta, I'm off to learn some more about the history of the Copper Coast with my tour guide, Ian. Okay, Moonta Mines was founded in 1861 with the discovery of copper by a shepherd by the name of Patrick Ryan. And from that very small deposit of copper that he found by a wombat burrow, developed one of the largest copper mines in the Southern Hemisphere. It worked from 1862 right through to 1923 and they took out some 21 million tonnes of copper during that time that was processed and sent off and sold on world markets. At its peak there was around 12,000 people living in the Moonta Moonta Mines area. 95% of those came from Cornwall because the company wanted the best copper miners in the world and the Cornish were the best copper miners in the world. The mines in Cornwall were closing down and so the company sent recruitment teams to Cornwall and paid for the Cornish miners to come out. This was the largest settlement of Cornish people outside of Cornwall anywhere in the world. Hence the tag Munta, Australia's little Cornwall. So one of the pretty awesome things that you can do out here at Moonta Mines is go for a ride on the Moonta Tourist Train and it can really give you an up close and personal experience with all the heritage that happened out here at Moonta Mines. And I've got to say, it's a pretty fun way of getting around. So, all aboard, are you guys all ready to go? Yeah! Let's go, all aboard. When you go for a ride on the tourist train, you take a, a four kilometre ride back in history. The train goes through one of the areas of the mining lease. It looks at some of the old mine sites. It explains some of the mining processes that were used to recover copper from the tailings heaps and generally gives you a, some idea of the early living conditions of the people here in Moonta Mines. It's a step back in history and uh, is a snapshot of what happened here in Moonta over 150 years ago. Now the railway at Moonta Mines is awesome and you have to come visit it. But it's not the only piece of history you can find at Moonta Mines. So I'm checking out the very interesting and informative interactive museum. It's a pretty fascinating building. First of all, um, what was this building this used originally? It used to be a school. Really? There you go. Yes, there was a lot of, lot of students in here because at its peak, the population here was second highest to Adelaide. Wow, really? So obviously there were a lot of children in this school. Fantastic, that's incredible. Um, yeah, and I mean, the mines is one thing that happened around here, but of course with mines, there's people and houses and a whole community forms. Exactly. They, they came from Cornwall, the mm. miners. The, even the government eventually gave them free passage oh, to come okay. out here. Yeah. Now, because copper is poisonous, mm -hmm. the crust of a Cornish pasty was bigger so that the miner can hold on to it and that what was in his hand was thrown away. That, that's why Cornish pasties have got thicker pastry. Yeah, and, 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 and it, at that time, not yep. now, mm -hmm. now the cream's absolutely delicious. Yes. <laughs> but in those days, that was the handle, right. you could say. Yeah, there you go. There. The museum gives you an insight into how life was for the miners over 150 years ago. So Ursula, what have we got through here? This looks pretty cool. Oh no, it can not, if you're afraid of the dark, you don't want to go in there, <laughs> all right? This is what it would have looked like for a miner to go down 
into the mind. Yeah, fantastic. Should we have a walk through? Oh, please. Oh, You're not me. afraid of the dark. No, then? well, I don't okay. know. I think those miners 150 years ago wouldn't have had a <laughs> phone to pull out for a torch. <laughs> so come for a ride on the train and check out the museum. It's a great way to immerse yourself in the history of this incredible place. But there's also something else you have to come see and maybe eat. Obviously the people that built this place are a little bit shorter than I am. But anyway, Moonton Mines has got some pretty interesting places uh, to come and see and experience. But one of the places I'm in now is the old sweet shop. Now this building actually used to be the post office, but it's now been converted into an old school sweet shop, which would have been around Moonton and other places around South Australia, the era that the mines were opened. So you can literally come in and see hundreds of different lollies, chocolates and other sweets and get that real authentic old sweet shop experience. I don't know about you, but I'm going to need a few trolleys when I leave here. Not only is there a sweet shop, but there are dozens of old buildings, many still standing. And it's just so interesting to come out and explore it all. I wish my history lessons at school were as interesting as this. So we try to tailor the trip to create interest among the, the younger generation as well as the older generation. So folks, really, you need to get off the couch. If you haven't been to Moon to Mines, come out and visit us. There's an old saying, if you haven't been to Munta, then you haven't travelled, boy. So get off the couch, come to Moon to Mines, and go for a ride on the train and see how the people lived in the early days. Well, there you have it. Moon to Mines, a must visit on your next trip to the Copper Coast. Yeah.